Well hello and welcome to another episode here on the Rest of Saga Workshop YouTube channel. And this week we're doing something ever so slightly different. You know in this channel I'm a big fan of my Land Rover and indeed you'll notice it's sitting in a bit of a funny axle as I've started a front axle rebuild. More of that coming very soon. But this week I have got myself my hands on a Lego Technic Land Rover Defender and that's the new Defender which in and of itself is quite controversial. I personally quite like it although I haven't seen any of the short wheelbase ones. So this is going to be the project for this channel. About two and a half thousand pieces, quite a lot of hours of building. Um, this was given to me as a gift from my family for a recent birthday. So I'm just going to take you through the build and show you it at the end and do a bit of a review. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okie doke, so here we are in my dining room. And we have all the bits and pieces of the 2020 Land Rover Defender in Lego all set out on the table. First things first, this is the big box it all came in, as you've just seen. Inside that there's another one single white box. In that white box came all these packages here, including the instructions and some decals, which I was getting a little bit concerned when I opened the box and I couldn't see those, but some instructions are going to get stuck in too soon. Keep the decals for later. Over here, your eye gets drawn to these pretty cool tyres. Um, not particularly off-road looking, um, more like an on-road type bias, but pretty chunky anyway. And there's five of those, four plus a spare, which is cool. Um, the wheels are here, quite like that little design. Um, and all various bits and pieces, and they're all numbered, which I presume will uh, link in with some of the instructions here. It's probably been the best part of 10 years since I've built any Lego Technic, so I need to get back into the swing of it. So next thing I'm going to do is get my laptop set up, put some Netflix on and start building. And I'll catch up with you once I've got stuck into the first stage. So just before I get the laptop opened, this is where the numbered packages come in. Obviously one is at the start and four is the finishing. So I'm going to put two, three and four numbered packages back in the big white box and then get all the number ones ready and start making some mechanical looking components and I presume this is the engine front suspension looking at this diagram but we'll get stuck into that and I'll catch up with you in a little second. And just before I start into the first part of this build which as I said is to create looks to me that you create this front um, suspension type setup this is all the stack of parts and I've just opened up all these packets here. I have Jay Leno on the laptop, so let's get stuck into this. So we're doing okay, making a bit of progress here. Jay Leno still keep me company. We even have the workshop dog, Molly, in to keep us company. Let's get back into it. So Molly the workshop dog has helped me well and we're making a bit of progress. Definitely a suspension unit here with double wishbones. There's a differential there in the middle. Quite a lot of specialised parts on this build. Um, these be sockets and these hub carriers do work well and there's definitely more colour coding of the Lego parts these days as there were compared to what else they've made in the past. More specialised parts in here, not entirely sure what this is. And I think there's winch parts in here too. So the parts pile is reducing and this is getting bigger. Doing well. So We've figured out that this is like a bit of a, I'm sure there's another word for it, but it's nearly like a cam. So as that turns, if I can video this at the same time, um, it pushes that little grey cylinder in and out, so I suspect this is part of a gearbox type setup. But we'll follow that on down, so nice to figure out what that is. So we're still on stage one, um, but this seems to be a gearbox. Um, a differential with suspension and as per the diagram I'm just going to mate the two together and then the pile of parts is really getting quite small now so it's getting on very nicely and next video we'll see I would say stage one will be finished. And that is part one of the build complete. Only a few small bits and pieces left, um, keep those spare and a little plastic band type thing in this pocket, the first one of which is on here. And this is sort of like a, a spring mechanism, which seems quite clever, um, which moves that sinker mesh. Um, this, I've decided, is the back, obviously, because there's no steering mechanism. So this has to be the back of the vehicle. 
Um, so there's a rear differential down underneath there. And I imagine this is the transfer box, but I'm not entirely sure. This has to be some sort of gear selector type mechanism. Um, and there's more gears down here. And then there's two drive shafts. Still haven't worked out what these are entirely for. One must be an input and one must be the output if that's the transfer box. I have to say I really enjoyed this bit. Um, as, in, as you all know from watching other videos on this channel, I enjoy the mechanical side of things. So that must extend to Lego too. Um, these must be the mountings then for a rear bumper type setup. So we'll see as we go along. Um, 123 stages just for the first bit and then this is on to part two which is pretty significant looking seats the rest of the chassis and the front end with a winch. So we'll get the other packets opened up, get the parts spread out. I'm just going to put these in one of the small bags and uh, we'll get stuck into that. So quite the mountain of parts here for um, the second part of this build. Um, I certainly don't think this is uh, broken down into even quarters, especially when you look at the amount of constructions in this. So all set to get started into this. Looks to be some more elastic band type things in this, or I actually haven't opened this box, but we'll wait until that's needed. Got the coffee going, got Netflix on, and get stuck into this. Really enjoying this build so far. So this is the initial part of the second installation in the build. Second of four, and I believe this is the front end um, because this appears to be a steering rack here. Um, and this appears to be the engine, although there's a big space in between. Um, this must be the drive. As you can see, you turn that drive shaft, it moves the differential inside. And if I think if I turn this one, you'll see the steering move as well. So next bit, this looks like a crankshaft to me. So let's get stuck into that and fill this void in here, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be the six cylinder engine. Quite impressed with this. Let's keep going. So another little progress report. This seems to be the gearbox controls. So we have drive, neutral and reverse. That'll be the low and the high range boxes. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, I have to figure out what this little control knob is. This seems to be the gearbox with um, little synchro meshes that move, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's obviously showing you this already, but um, this is the crankshaft underneath here, which seems to turn and move the engine cylinders. So nice little details. Getting some big chunks here, and hopefully they're all going to line up again quite soon. And this pile of parts is getting a little smaller. Okay, so this is going to be a big moment, and we're going to bring the two front and back bits together. One here and one here, ready to go. Just have to check all the little bits line up and give it a go. I'll check in with you once that's done. Haven't brought my tripod up with me. Um, otherwise, it'd fill in them going together, but it's going to look pretty cool once it's done. And here we have it, all joined up in one. The uh, front and back section, obviously. There's been a few little bits I've put in. Sorry about the dog woofing in the background. Um, this is the steering mechanism, um, which can presumably be steered from both the steering wheel and an additional bit here. Um, we have drive, neutral and reverse, which is pretty cool. And then the high and the low box. I think this must be to alter the some sort of gear ratio here at the back as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, these little drive shafts here have been joined up. Those are quite an acute angle, but I've tested them seem to be okay. So maybe need a double hardened card and joint in there, but who knows? Pretty cool piece of engineering. So again, the pile of parts is definitely getting smaller. So add a few more in and see where we are next. Just thought I would show you this really cool wee feature. So this is the winch, um, winch drum. This is the lock, and there's a slightly rubberized piece here where that just swings against it, this gear. And then you can wind this also in to turn it in and out. That just brings the drive down and across, so that's really cool. I'll be interested to see how that ends up when it finishes. And just like that, part two is finished. That's us officially halfway through the build. And looking at the thickness of this instruction manual, I'd say we're halfway through there too. This is moving on to part three. There's a bit of bodywork going on here on the roof. 
Um, so I'm going to have to get the number three packages out of here. Again, a few little spare parts left over and I'll just put them with the rest from number one. But we've got front seats, back seats, suspension, steering and engine. So pretty much bodywork and wheels to go from here on in. I think you'll agree it looks pretty cool. So let's get started into part three before this video gets any longer. So just to a bit of um, unwanted interest, from Junior Rastasag I've started keeping the smaller parts in an ice cream tub to keep the bigger parts out, just in case he decides to come down and help himself and decide he wants to finish the model for me. Um, we've had a bit of a disaster, we started losing bits and pieces at this stage, so a bit of preventative measures. Probably not just as many updates during this third segment of the build, but massive progress, lots of bodywork. And I'm glad to say this bodywork's been somewhat more pleasant than that on the Toylander with not as much sanding and spray painting. Two doors, well, th three doors, the two side doors. As you can see, we've got a roof. Um, the side panels, the controversial side panels on the 2020 Defender. Still have to put the weed arches on both sides. And around the back, this is pretty cool little tailgate and you just turn that and then there's a little mechanism that does that. So I have to say that's pretty cool. And then turn it this way. Same again, there's a door and nice little decals on the inside. Uh, cool little mechanism. All looks pretty switch and again controversial side panels and still need to put the wheel arch on. So moving on to the fourth and final bit, we're going to wheels, uh, bonnet, front bodywork and complete the roof rack which has some bits and pieces on it, so all very cool. Nearing the end of this build, really enjoyed it so far but let's get stuck into box four and go from there. I had to let Junior Rastasaga get involved so I let him put the wheels on. I have to say it looks pretty cool. Last stack of parts, last ice cream box full of small parts. I love these orange bits. Big fan of orange, but let's get started into this and get a finished Land Rover Defender. Hey, we have a Land Rover Defender, 2020 Land Rover Defender. How cool is this? All the bodywork's finished. Um, the only bits left are to do the roof rack and the little side bits. And these are these bits and some left there, so that's going to be the next step. But I just wanted to give you a little look. We have an opening bonnet, panel work all done on the front. So, next step, get the roof rack done, give you a full tour. And that will be us done. I think it's really cool. And my little son approves too. And there we have it. One finished new 2020 Defender. Land Rover Defender, of course. Um, and this is the Lego Technic that you've been following me build for the last little while. Roughly two and a half thousand pieces, I'm not entirely sure what the entire build count is, but very detailed. I've absolutely loved building this. It's been a long time since I've built any decent Lego. And I'd say this reintroduced my interest in it. Very detailed front end. Um, detailed throughout, interior, exterior. The roof rack here is the last bit. Um, it's got a little access ladder, which is pretty cool. And around the other side has the little grey box that nobody really understands what it's for in real life. They say it's for things like welly boots, but that's yet to be seen, so the little grey box is on there. On the top of here, you have another storage box. You can keep bits and pieces, maybe your spare parts. A few little odds and ends there. And I presume these are meant to be sand ladders type things so they're stored on top and that's your steering there on top engine nicely detailed as you've seen before with the winch controls and that's the brake and that's the winding in and out mechanism around the passenger side two gear sticks um, your automatic drive neutral reverse and high and low box and then the knob in the middle is your sequential gearbox. So you can maybe just catch it with the video. Catch it in the background. And there's rear seating there as well. The roof rack comes on and off easy enough. And obviously independent suspension all around. And 
good articulation as you expect of any Land Rover. This is obviously the short wheelbase one, but in a future day, if I ever get the money together and I fancy a new Defender, I think I'd get the short wheelbase. And now that I've built this, I'd be quite tempted by the green with a white roof. How cool would that be to have this matching in? There's your wedge hiding in there at the front. So let's wrap this video up before it gets too long and I'll catch you back up down in the garage. And so there you have it. I've taken you through the entirety of the build. I try to stay away as best I can from sort of time-lapse photography. I think that's been done to death with these Lego build type YouTube videos. So I've just taken you through bits that I find interesting and hopefully you will find it good enough that you might even go and get your own set. I've got the Defender here up on top of my model display cabinet underneath my own Land Rover up here in the poster. Um, I will try and find a display cabinet for it, maybe a little acrylic shield. I'm not really sure, I'll need to look into that because as you know from the work I do in this garage everything tends to get a bit dusty and dirty. So hopefully you really enjoyed that video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, fire me a comment and even subscribe, that would be great if you could. I reply to all my comments. You can also find me on Patreon, on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram too. So you can follow me across all those channels and I try and update different things in different channels. So there's plenty going on to keep you amused. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then. Cheerio.